Hello everyone, Loco Force here. I'm here at Newton Abbott on the Great Western Main Line and the Riviera Line. Um, today I'm doing a video diary for Ivy Bridge. Um, I don't want to do another like separate trains out of Newton Abbott because I've already done two this year and no one watched them. So um, I'm just going to throw in a big video together. So I've trains at Newton Abbott, the journey between here and Ivy Bridge, which is where we're going train spotting today. Uh, trains at 9.45, I've got about an hour-ish and there's actually quite a few trains. Um, so I'm just going to film with Newton Abbott trains and then put them in the video diary rather than their own video. Yeah, next service is to paint them, so that'll be from up there or somewhere. I've got my new tripod, it's actually the first time I've used it and I'm actually using my camera again. Uh, because, I don't know, I can. Also that's a much smaller tripod than my old one, my old one would have been like up there somewhere. Also I have sitting down. Um, it appears that they've got the GWR boards on the Newton Abbott signs now, I can't really show you that because this camera can't really do zooming in. Uh, over there's the old Heathfield line uh, bay platforms. Uh, that might actually be reopening in 2020, which is, could be interesting to see as a heritage line. But there isn't actually anywhere to store their heritage stuff. Anyway, I'm going to end up keep rambling on forever now. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, let's see what turns up next. Yes, definitely an angle. Right then guys, so we're now off to Ivy Bridge, our train's coming in in a minute apparently. Uh, so that wraps it up here at Newton and I'll uh, see you on the, well, train. Uh, yeah, let's go. Right guys, got very cool news, we're on the new 2 plus 4 HSTs. I'm filming the journey. That's not going to work, is it? 
it. I'm going to have to hold this. Oh, God. But yeah, we're on the 43187s at the front, 43316s at the back. We've already seen this. Um, but yeah, this is cool. It's alright, shaking us off. Trying, trying to get stuff out. Gotta get my tickets. Oh yeah, they're down there. And that green coat there is Heritage Royal UK. Do check out his channel. <laughs> Famous man in the green coat. Right, and we're off. Next stop is. Yeah. Might be a new one. No, it's not, is it? That's a South Devon railway car, don't we know that. So yeah, next stop is Totnes, then we're at Ivy Bridge. Oh, this is so cool, guys. It's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, if we get this back, hell yeah. Let's just look around the coach as well. It is very nice, I will say. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. And it's got the new doors. And I might film that just because that got views when they did the video on the Chilton ones. So, you know, I'm doing anything for views right now, guys. Joking. I'm a view hunter. And That's all chasing, but I want that game. Yeah. Train chasing. And a lot of sound. Yeah. I like to do storm chasing, it's quite cool. We're not dying. So well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get storms here. Storm Morgan. <laughs> Hurricane Morgan. Hurricane Morgan. <laughs> Trips over, kills one million people in Japan. Yeah. He doesn't watch my videos, does he? I doubt it. And we are now off at a junction. It's really smooth riding as well, actually. Yeah, yeah, we've got padding, guys. It's quite nice. It's pretty good. I mean, the chairs are the same, pretty much. Yeah, they have actually Yeah, and they've got the O. And uh, nice seating. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We need to make these coaches in model. Mm. Oh yeah, by the by, that uh, Mike Riviera pack, it's 90 quid, so that's about £30 a coach, which is kind of pretty much what you've been paying anyway, mm. so that's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. They're only at Kerno Model Railway Centre though, so I'm assuming you can get them on their website, I don't know if they have a website. Yeah, they're on the website. Yeah. They're cool though. Mm. There is one pack, isn't there? Uh, well, the only one that I know of is the three pack, which comes with all the um, sleeper coaches. There only is three gauge sleeper yeah, coaches. Four. Is there? Yeah, I think. Well, they've got two standards, like normal coaches. They've got the three day stock, and they've got a buffet, and then they've got the um, three sleepers, don't they? I think got four sleepers. I'll check, make sure. Well, you could probably buy a um, FGW one. Or just get one off eBay. Yeah. You get some FGW ones as well to mix it up a bit. You don't really, do you actually have any FGW? Like, normal FGW? Yeah. Uh. FGW are only. Hmm. Eventually, I'm going to get a GW. First, I won't say just do it. It's the area that I'm modeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off. I might eventually get an 800 block. Yeah, yeah. They are nice there. Mm. Oh, an old signal block. Mm. <coughs> It'll be an abandoned station at some point, but I think that's after Totnes because that's um, the old Brent station. Right. Kingsbridge Branch, Primrose Line would have been a good, um, yeah, would have been a good heritage line. Primrose Line, or something that's going to be cool, but it got destroyed. So, uh, yeah. I'm probably not going to need any more heritage railways opening now. Cause well, there's like three more that opened in Wales this year. Yeah, but they're sort of narrow gauge, aren't they? No, no, they are standard gauge. They're really small, but they are still technically, you know, 
No, it probably is. Uh, and they're here. opening a new one in near Blackpool because there's an abandoned line. So they're reopening that. But the thing is, they're running out of steam locos to run on them now. So. They just build new ones. Expensive. New builds, yeah. And we're in a tunnel. That was Denkin Tunnel. Yeah. Well, they're mainly owned by private people, though. The Heritage Railways don't actually own them. They just get to run them on them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they get more money from hiring them out. Oh, the weather's turned nice. Brilliant. Yeah, I know, but it looks nice. It's good for filming. Oh, we'll be passing by the um, SDR, won't we? Yeah, it's got a lot of Devon countryside. Sheep. Many sheep. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's much better than where I used to live. Although I can't really remember it. But never get to use like this anywhere else. I used to live in the Cotswolds, so that's not exactly bad scenery, but this is better. Well, especially all the red dirt, which is really weird. If I was modelling Devon, I'd have to get some red dirt. Mm. This is quite natural to me. I mean, it's not, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn, you don't usually go off the parts. You don't go dirt land, hunting, do you? No. no. People do go. But red dirt is Devon only. So. Really? Is it nowhere yeah. else in the world? Well, southwest, like southwest coastline, mainly Devon and Cornwall. Mm. Another abandoned hut of some sort. It doesn't make sense why we have red dirt. Oh no. Yeah, it just feels like an actual stick. Mm. Did dirt not look like that? No, it's brown, not red. Mm. Dirt, what, it's like, this is like an old civilization just set nukes on. Yeah, something like that. It got hit by a meteor. Mm. Maybe Dartmoor erupted and made everything red or something, I don't know. Actually could have been a, that's quite a theory. Can't see Dartmoor at the moment, it's over yeah, behind those hills somewhere. Volcano. Yeah, 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 it was a big one. Well, yeah, it was huge. The entirety of Dartmoor. Just a volcano. No, 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 you just walk on it. Mm. Well, I mean, it's dormant, it's completely dormant. It's, it's, no, it's not dormant, it's dead. Dormant means it'll erupt again. Yeah. This is some brilliant commentary, guys. Volcanoes, yeah. Very long time it goes. Well, the UK is the best one for Where's my keys? I've got my keys, I've got my repair kit. I think I've got everything wallet, camera, phone. Helmet. Paranoid check time. Many farmhands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear a train. Oh, I've got my own. I'm not surprised you hear a train, to be fair. We are all no, no, it's not a Thomas the Tank Engine kind of train. I need to get a Thomas the Tank Engine, actually. Well, you can run like Thomas, you can Yeah, mine. gotta get a Thomas, man. I don't use mine. You can't have a Heritage Railway, well, you can't have any railway, Heritage or not, without a Thomas. I mean, come on. Gotta have a Thomas, man. Okay. You just borrow mine so I get one of the other I used to get a mine, Thomas did. That was fun. Before you get in a couple more locos at the train fair. Yeah, I'm gonna get some sort of British loco and an American loco, and then whatever's left, I'll spend on some other stuff. Yeah. Then I'll get them, go to the guy who does the DCC fitting, see what his price is for DCC fitting them, and converting couplings, if that's needed. There are much more English pub models. What castle is that then? Hmm. Or is that a church? Probably no, it's a church. It's a church. I'm thinking it's a castle. All the 57s will be back soon. We'll have loads of mini GWR trains. Oh Mark yeah. III's. We'll have the sleepers, mini bug day stock, and we'll have these. So there's going to be 11 of these. Hmm. That's going to be so cool. It might not. I might. Be, it might be more. I think it might be a little bit less. I think it's just 11 power cars. I thought it was just 11 power cars they were keeping. Oh. 
for the last ten to just in case. Mm. Yeah, they'll probably have some as backups. Mm. They'll probably keep them down there. Or, mm. or keep them at extra safe days. No. Well, it is sort of TNT. Yeah, I know, but not for HSTs. Random track. Old siding boys. They'll never be used again. Hasn't been like decades. Look at the contrast in ballast colours. You can tell it hasn't been used for ages. That's what I'm doing on my railway. I'm going to have different coloured ballast. There we go. SDR. Oh, that's the joining track. Yeah, no one goes down that. I don't think they ever will. <laughs> when trains go down that other track, it was now on there. Plus, they need to go down to. Um, Right, so now approaching Totnes Station. Some very much abandoned place. I don't know what you mean, that was brand new. Some sort. That's really vandalized. Totnes has got its new GWR logos on it. No, that one down there did. Well, some of them, yeah, they, no, that one's got one. See, look, we're starting to get to the English Riviera with its fake pine trees. Oh, yeah. Palm trees. Even though this isn't the English Riviera, that's beside the point. Yeah, yeah, that's miles back. Right, here we are at Top Ness. Right, and we're off. Farting Top Ness. How many trains are we actually seen? I don't know. Oh, good. My dad, let me check my chart. This is the 09 to the side of the 1523 that you catch it back. Yeah, they're going down. But in, I don't think my mum's going to be uh, able to get to me onto the um, USA thing in the bomb. So I might just, well, go down myself. What? Try and, you know, PDR, get on the USA tank and Braveheart. Well, I've got con oh, you're not allowed to run it anymore. No. Oh, fools. Right, I'm pretty sure they're not allowed to run it anymore. Oh, brilliant. But they might be able to, but they don't want to, because it produces like, well, basically, it's, it's, when I say it's producing clouds, it's actually understated. Yeah, it is a, yeah. It's a freight engine, they do make quite a bit of smoke. And basically, I think the environment, the current yet, the WSR's got one, where someone's at railway and they've told them to stop using it. But it's only like it takes start I don't want to use it anymore. Yeah. I mean, I'm going down next week with friends, so, yeah. you know. Damn it. Right, I won't be going down there then. They might, say. When I go down there next week, I'll tell you if they're still running or not. Yeah. If they have to pop down quickly again, they get rid of it. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I think one day I'm helping cut down his garden, and the other day I'm um, going to uh, take the garden and be different to the people. You know, no, I know the person, so I think. Mm. Also, he's paying the yard. Hey, are you free on Sunday? Sunday. Uh, I am until about four. I, I might better make it a bit later. I don't know, I might be free. I know. I thought... I got really confused. I was trying to go train spotting on Tuesday, but I found out it was Tuesday when I thought that. I thought it was Wednesday, not Tuesday, so I was going to plan something for tomorrow, but it turns out that that was the day I was planning it. I lost, com I completely lost track of time, basically. Yeah. Well, we're back today. Yeah. We've got hope now we don't see Ivy Bridge going on. Mm. Unlikely. 
If not, I mean, no one's checked our tickets, so... Yeah. But then they might check on the way back, in which case we're screwed. This is the first train I've been on this year, I think. Crushed hut. the wall. Man's not a tunnel. That is so utterly hilarious. I don't think I've ever not laughed so much in my life. Yeah. Another abandoned hut, scrapyard. Love this scrapyard. Everyone's moaning about the new seats being uncomfortable. I've got mine. Oh, right. I mean, I sit like this, so my head's never actually touching the back anyway, but. Then it's a bit like. You can't breathe. These aren't actually that bad seats. I mean, come on. Apparently, the 800 ones, they're literally made from cardboard. Same with the 700s. And there's no leg room, which is bad news for me. Yeah. 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 Don't know what you're getting out there, mate. Um, well, they're based off the 395, and that's been around since 2012. They're not very new either. Pretty old design. Oh, come on, Arjun Bridge, I'm going to have a bloody battery. I was terrified then, I thought, is that a town? Is that we were in Ivy? Arthur Bridge is nowhere near the town. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. It's basically a parkway station kind of thing, except nothing goes there. So. Mm. Oh, there's an old buffer stock there. Mm. I saw Wish these sidings were still in use, you know. Well, or at least, like, you could still see the track rather than just whatever the hell. Just gravel ballast. Mm.
Oh, I just saw a sign for South Brent, so we're near the Brent station. Ish. Or the abandoned Brent station. I shame that's not in a uh, thing anymore, because that's quite a big station. Three platforms, basically Newton Abbott. Because had the branch line, like, Newton Abbott. Yeah. What they close it? I don't know, I don't think anyone used it. Or just BR being knobs. No BR. <laughs> in fact, I've got a BR shirt on, actually. Yeah, oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's got a lot of comic sounds. There you go, there's enough logs there. Oh my god, bloody no one. Uh, we're on a nitrogen here. Uh -huh, yeah. I'll be on this one. If it is small, I don't care. It might be. Thank God he did redesign the HST because it looked hideous. It was disgusting. It was genuinely just awful. And I thought, um, I'm just I trying to think of some train that's hideous. Yeah, yeah, because it's rare. Cool. Maybe the abandoned station's only on one side. No, I like Is he? Mm. There's a lot of space either side. There could be a battery. Yeah. Put a few car batteries on it. At some point they run out of room to put these tracks down and I'll actually have to get rid of them. Probably is actually, yeah. A long bit. That's a continuous yeah. There you go. Here's a second piece. Imagine how far it must have been to just take that off to put it. That's what I mean. They just need to whack at all the pins and then shove it to the side and it goes. It's not as easy as it is. It's going to be quite heavy heavy. They have a crane. Well, look, they've got new um, sort of track joiners and sleepers, quite flat ones. They, they have um, cranes, Matt. We saw them on the um, no, like Colas crane behind 66093. They oh. probably the cranes. They use them to pick up the big bits of track. They have a couple. Oh, they've got new joint. They've got new bit. They've got new um, thing to hold the track. Wow. Tracks spotting boys. Track spotting. All I'm doing is saying something that might or might not be interesting, right? There's, there's no. There's, there's still the old um, clippy thingies. Back there, there were those. Flat metal. What is this then? Unit to lag. Oh, there's a curve coming up. What's that people wearing? Well, I think we're slowing down. Yes. I wonder when we're going to get to Langham levels. Got a little breath of past, we just didn't see it. Yeah, maybe it's on the other side. Mm. And like, well, the platform's already been demolished or completely covered up. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Ivy Bridge. Ivy well, there we Bridge go, guys. Um, I'm going to get up now, so I... Uh, yeah, just because I am. So, uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to video the door opening, because it's a new door, you know. So, on well, then, guys, so uh, here we are at the door. Got some buttons. So, look, you can't open the window. I mean, it's horrible. And look, the I, uh, this is what I can see from my eyes. I can't even see it. And here's the station. Come on, button. Here's Ivy Bridge, bye bye. Well then guys, that was the new, uh, yeah that was a bit of travel on the new HST thingy, thingy, what am I talking about, so I'll wait for it to close and then uh, it will be off.
Hello everyone, Local Force here, and uh, today I'm at Ivy Bridge, situated on the Great Western Main Line. Um, Dover and Sydney services by Great Western Railway and Cross Country. Um, that was the well, we didn't yeah, that was the um, service to yeah, ex St Davis to Penzance. That was one of the uh, new uh, two plus fours. So yeah, that's cool. Um, so yeah, we're here for about five hours. So this should be fun, hey? I'm pretty sure we're catching that on the way back as well. Cool. All right then, uh, let's get started here at Ocean Bridge. Hope you enjoy. Bloody hell, turbulence. Christ.
Right, this line. Hi right, guys, so we're back on the uh, HSD, heading back to Newton. Not going to film it this time. Um, can't be asked. Um, so yeah, that was Ivy Bridge. And yeah, so let's, uh, let's move on. Okay, so now up top this. Cross country uh, HSD over there. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Woo. Cross country. Brilliant. TOC, because all their trains got cancelled because of some wind. It's obviously a quality yeah, train well, operating company. Yeah. Most yeah. of them sometimes got the problem, is it weird? Yeah, because yeah. I mean, some of them obviously are made from tin cans. So. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we moving or are they moving? They're moving. No, they're moving. No, they're moving. Yeah, they're moving. Okay, right. Yeah, so yeah, that's a cross country interesting. Can you hear our doors shut? Quality stuff. Way moving. Jason now departing. Dot Ness. Just, just filming in case uh, anything's at the SDR, but I don't think there is. You've got to say where it is because I just know I'm loaded. Mm. Well, just like, okay, we're going to see some of it. Um, yeah, I'll chuck it in anyway. Video diary. Boom. Put everything together. That's a very colourful building. Obviously delivered like that brand new. I mean it's open. So there might be something in there. And there's nothing there. What's a human pissing? Yeah, well, I mean, there's people there, so I assume something's happened. Yeah, it's literally something that's actually driving me. It's just that I don't really feel the token. Shame we didn't do the diesel gun. We did. No, the uh, steam steam. Right then, guys. Uh, that pretty much sums it up. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, goodbye, for now. Hope you've enjoyed. Subscribe, I've said this already, but oh well. Here's 150.26.